Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Alright, so, as I stated in the end of the previous episode, we are now in free time mode, which gives us the ability to uh, go freely explore the school and talk with our fellow classmates and get to know them better. And for the sake of the most efficient story reasons, we're gonna conversate with Sakura today. Let's see, where is she? Or where is she? Is she in her room? Sayaka, not Sakura, sorry. Sayaka. We're gonna go with her. So she is in her room. Knockity knock knock. I guess I should press the doorbell. Um, listen. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yeah. Um, Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. No, don't be sorry. I chose to. I did my best to com comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I don't have anything to give, but let's try. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wait. I'm just checking. Wait, do we have any presents? Ooh, we have the school crest. Can I give that? Sorry, but we can't let you give her that. It's what the, in the industry we like to call a key item. Oh, sorry. Well, I don't have any fucking presents to give, okay? I'm a bad friend. Um, um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? Wh what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions. But I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka, standing here face to face and hearing her say that, it's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Ah. Really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile, that mysterious smile softens my heart and hardens my dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, uh, Okay, <clears throat> I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because... I looked at you all the time. Ooh, it's a little creepy. Huh? Hmm, yes, I was always watching. In this classroom. In the lunchroom. In the locker room. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> in your bedroom from the closet. Hold on now. I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But, but, since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But, why me? Um, do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm, it was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every million years. That bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Well, it couldn't have been a sparrow. They're small. I can't remember. Was it a crane or a heron? I think it was a crane. It was a crane! It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. 
But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at the school. They made me do it. You see... I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Y yeah, I kind of figured. But honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see... It's just intuition, I know. But I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do- Oh, I'm sorry, wrong person. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I, I went on autopilot there for a second. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smiles of her that blah 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 blah. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Makes you what? I feel like that's an incomplete sentence. I was glad to feel that way. Oh, her smile just makes him stronger in general. Got it. Like it gives him strength. Okay. That was just badly worded, but I get it now. All right, we unlocked a skill for spending time with Sayaka. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. And... Uh-oh, ding dong, bing bong! You know what that means. Time for sleep. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Yes, yes, go on. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Today's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. You shouldn't swear, it's not nice. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into this school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Magakuma Theater! Ahem! So, I'm sure that you've noticed, but the killing game has begun. But, there's still room for a little laughter. <laughs> it seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! I agree. Heart pounding indeed. And also, I get excited every time I play his voice. He's just so fun. He's a great Good villain. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! <laughs> I just like doing that laugh, too. Get ready to greet another be 
beautiful day! Get ready to read another beautiful day! I love it. Morning has come. What should I do today? More free time! Oh boy! No one's dead yet! Alright, I guess we'll spend more time with Sayaka then. She's the easiest w uh, report card to fill out, so it makes sense to do her first. Alright, where is she today? Where is she hiding today? Is she in her room again? Uh, uh, nope, she's in the hallway somewhere. Alright, let's go find her. Sayaka, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You in the hallway? You in the hallway? Where you at? Where you at, girl? Oh, oh Jesus, there you are. <laughs> you jump scared the shit out of me on accident. How you doing? You see... Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? Yeah, I want you. I want you so bad. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> yeah let's talk. <laughs> Just kidding. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yes! <sighs> oh, you want to talk for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I mean, for those of you who have never seen this before, Sayaka's the obvious love interest for Makoto. I spent time chatting with Sayaka. We grew a little closer! No, no presents. I don't have any. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again. What's going on? Um... And so polite again. I'd like to ask... Do you have a girlfriend? What? That's like way out of nowhere. No, not really. She clearly has a crush on you. Um... Huh? Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? N no, I don't. A girlfriend? Not at all. No way. <laughs> um, listen. Then, do you at least have a crush on someone? J just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? <laughs> I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? I it's not that it's bad. I... But it's only natural I'd be curious, right? Because we're... W we're... Because we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates, right. But... Although, that's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. More than that? We're friends! We've been friends since middle school, in a way. Th that's true. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh, um... So, aren't you going to ask me? Huh? What? Um, listen. No, not what. Aren't you going to ask if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not like I don't want to know, of course. I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh, no. Nope, I definitely don't. The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Then, then, do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Sayaka stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tinged with red. Wait, me? But... But I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Y yeah, you're right. Hey, um... Let's get out of here together, Makoto. No matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Uh, of course, I would never turn my back on you. Uh, um... I want you to know something, Makoto, and I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. Oh, I think doctors have another word for that, Makoto, but we'll go with what you said. It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. Oh, that's right. This is anime. They're doing the Kingdom Hearts shit. <laughs> my friendship with her is my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka. <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You heard me? Like I said, I'm psychic. No, you're not. Maybe you are. Who fucking knows? Okay. Kidding. I just have really good intuition. Intuition is not the same as being able to read minds. Um... Maybe he does- maybe his thoughts that he thinks he's saying in his head he's actually saying out loud and doesn't realize it. 
But is that really what you were thinking? Uh, um, well... Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here, no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. And her report card has been updated. Skill points went up, yada yada. Yay, we're advancing. After after vowing to Sayaka to give it my all, I went back to my room to masturbate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I try not to do the sex jokes too much, but for some reason, anime makes it super easy. There's still lots of time left in the day. I guess I'll go spend it with Sayaka. Really, I want to fill out her report card. We could choose any of the people that we met to hang out and spend this time with, but I'm choosing her because she takes the least amount of hangouts to, like, fill out her entire report card thing. I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. <laughs> She's basically the tutorial for this. They, like, you're, you're intended to hang out with her. <laughs> okay, let's go for a walk. I think it'll help cheer both of us up. I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no present. We don't have anything to give, because we haven't gone to the store. Mainly because it'll take a long time. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. We didn't get any more info this time. The day is over. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I. No, we. When are we going to get out of here? Oh, Makoto, be careful what you wish for. I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Monokuma Theta! I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or the breaststroke. drive through is better than sit-down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick-me-up. Meanwhile, 0.000002 seconds later... What, Magam what, what Monokuma's basically saying there is that no one has killed anyone yet, and he's, like, it's, he's getting impatient about it. He, he needs to start seeing some violence soon. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! We get that same message every morning. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Eh, another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind... Oh, it must be the breakfast I ordered. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Um, hello? Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? 
Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without war waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Uh, can I fucking help you? What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm! I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all really need to come together. And that was when I realized... Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Didn't we already agree on this last episode? Quiet down and listen! And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go. Let everyone else know the good news! Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He returned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay. Sometimes this is shit's like a sitcom, other times it's like an anime, and then other times it's like a murder mystery. Hey, Toko, what you doing standing here all alone in the corner? Um, Toko? What's your problem? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? <laughs> I, I know. I just need to pre prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> I'm so n nervous. What's she so nervous about? It's because she has a crush on Byakua, and it's really gross. Like, it's absolutely disgusting how how she acts around him. It's cringy and annoying. Especially because he treats her like shit, and she loves it. It's weird. Alright, look at all the fucking people. Mondo! Yo. Yo! Good morning. Let's just hurry up and get this over with. Taka's getting antsy. Sayaka! Hi, Makoto! Good morning to you, Makoto! She can make even a basic greeting feel eloquent somehow. That's the power of a celebrity, I guess. Hey, um... Is everything okay? Oh, oh yeah! Good morning, Sayaka! <laughs> he let out a heavy, annoyed sigh. I'd rather be ignored completely than suffer that kind of insult. Yo! Morden! Man, waking up to the sound of Taka squawking is not a fun way to start the day. Good morning. G good morning. <laughs> to bring everyone together for a breakfast meeting is a very Taka-esque suggestion. God, that voice hurts my throat. Hey. Taka looks pretty impatient. We'd better get this started already. Good morning. Hifumi, you don't seem too energetic. How oh, very sad. How can I be? I got woke up by that annoying, obnoxious, nightmarish guy. This is why I hate 3D so much. Yeah, but you're a 2D cardboard cutout. Hey, Makoto. Good morning, Makoto! morning. <laughs> breakfast time! Breakfast time! Gotta eat a big breakfast at breakfast time! Okay. Um, good morning. Good morning, Chihiro. <laughs> it's nice to get to eat with everyone. With so many people, it's actually kind of fun. What? What are you looking at me for? Mr. Goody Two Shoes is running the show for now. Okay. A breakfast meeting, eh? Perhaps it will keep me entertained and make life with everyone here a bit more bearable. And finally... But more important. Okay, okay, if I absolutely must talk to you, let's just hurry up and start the stupid meeting. Taka's gonna throw a fit if we don't. Alright, and finally, let's do this. 
Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting! We could even call it a breakfast club of sorts. Quiet down and listen! Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't make time for this shit, you dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! You all want me to eat breakfast with other p people? I've never done that b before. I'm not just sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! Wh what the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds what? like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> hmm, sure. Feel free. Huh. Uh... Okay, so nobody has any clues? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here, in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Uh, um... Huh? huh? What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm, well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Oh, okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in a brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him... Hm, Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Mm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But, like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Because help's gonna be here soon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Oh boy, here comes trouble. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? I mean, have you seen the news lately? Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously. Do you 
understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or the anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on! If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are you laughing? Why the hell are you laughing? I'm sorry, I'm confused. You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer F What? Huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a hey, bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait! I think... Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place, so why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What? what are you... If you want to know, I'll tell ya! It's motive! <laughs> it's so simple! I just have to give everyone a motive! Stop fucking Motive? Around. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey! Um... Oh, uh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a Stop bitch. changing the goddamn subject! Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, oh, but don't worry! Exciting. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside of the school. Outside of the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Mm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair. That's all. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Cause, to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So, I guess I want amusement from you, too. Um, he's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto! Check this out for us, would you? Huh? W why me? Yo. Cause you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Piece of shit. Hey! Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Begging? Don't you mean bullying? Uh, okay, I guess I'll go get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. 
Yo. Yeah, sure thing then. We're counting on the both of ya. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um, I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... It's the AV room! Let's go! Uh, how do I sprint? Oh, this way. AV room, AV room, it's in here, it's in here, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here... Boom! This is it. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It should be able to play DVDs. But I don't see any actual discs nearby. A DVD player is useless by itself. If we had something to watch, at least that helped pass the time. Oh, cool. Monocoin. Uh, the box. Huh? There's something inside the cardboard box. It's... Um, a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I'd better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. No, I already played that. Maybe I'll just watch my DVD real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs I'd found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive-looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen, and then... <gasps> I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor... It was my family! You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true! Make sure you do your best! I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Peak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like Something happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What? What? What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me, like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? Um, what happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, what's going on? 
Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the... What the fuck?! This, this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold yeah, on. no way it's real. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can't t -t take it anymore. <laughs> I c can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of a war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kinda sounds l like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? 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 Hey, this is exactly... The... This is exactly what Monokuma, or whoever's behind this, wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should start by all just talking? Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka? What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and to tell us. Damn, look at her. She is absolutely petrified. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I, I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Uh, but I guess I could spare a couple moments to talk to people. Uh... Hey, Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? <laughs> right? I want to think so, but... What the heck? W what the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. <laughs> uh... Right. What was in your video, Taka? I saw... Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Why? How can something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't. To be able to do something like that, is it because they really are the murderous fiend? What was in your video, Hifumi? Um, nyeh, nyeh. 
so it would seem. Before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? What was in your video, Kyoko? Well... Why should I tell you? Alright, fine, be that way. Alright, can I teleport to where Sayako... Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far, I should check around the school. Uh, the map might freaking tell me. Let's see. Leon is over there, so they're all in there. Let's see, she's in there. They're all on the first floor. Sayaka's hiding. It's not going to tell me where she actually went. I think that might actually make this a good stopping point. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it here for this episode. Everybody, Monokuma's getting impatient because nobody's killed anybody yet. And so he's given them all a motive. He's shown them all a video of something. Something either bad happening to people that they love or like something that could be used as blackmail or something like that and you know potentially this is supposed to motivate them to start killing each other you know will that actually work i guess we'll find out in the next episode so let me know your thoughts on this one and the game so far in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video go ahead and click that like button and as always i will catch you possibly on another day definitely at another time and likely in another video Okay, goodbye. Dang, 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 dang.